Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic formula in Excel where the values will pull in based on multiple different variables. So in front of me I've got some tourism indicators from, from Nevada and let's say I want to pull in you know the visitor volume for different months. Right now it's set to April 2021 but let's say I want to use May 2021 instead. If I paste that over, you know the value updates. If I want to look at total room nights occupied instead of the visitor volume, I can change that as well and my formula will automatically update. So this makes it a lot easier to you know, create your own, create your own sort of subset, uh, a separate table as opposed to trying to work with an existing data set and trying to, to make changes there. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this. I'm gonna go to the Las Vegas tab here and recreate that same formula from scratch here. And so to start with, I'm going to put a place to enter, you know, the field and let's say a date. And so it's important that these uh, match or direct match because we're going to be using the match function to make sure that um, the, the values are exactly the same. So here you'll notice it says 1-1-2021 as opposed to January 2021 being typed out. So you always want to be making sure that, you know, you're using the exact same uh, string or, or or value to make sure that it's pulling in correctly. So to start with an index and match function. Start with index, and I'm going to select the entire range that I might end up using for this formula. For the row number, I'm going to use the match function and say I'm going to look up visitor volume within this within this range. So I want to stay within that index. And for the match type, I'm going to type in zero because I want an exact match. Now for the column number, I'm also going to use the match function. And this time I'm going to be looking up value January 2021. And I'm going to start from the very beginning of the index again. And then the match type set to zero. Close this off. And you know now I've got that correct value of 1.294 million for January 2021. So I could, again, change this to February if I wanted to, to 1.5. Or what I could do is, let's say I wanted to copy these values over and basically just recreate that uh, data set over here. So you'll notice the formatting was not copied over the same, but I can use the Format Painter here and apply that to these other values. So now the only thing I need to do here is just to freeze these cells. So I'm going to use F4 to freeze these. I want to freeze column A, B only because I want to make sure that this col column does not move as I copy this over. A7, A30 should again be frozen. I need to freeze the, the row in this case for the, for the headers, but everything else can be completely frozen. And now if I copy these values across, I just want to make sure there's enough space for them. Now you'll see that this is pulling those those values out from this table so you know as opposed to having to clean up this table or remove that you can use formulas to um, reproduce what you want so like available room inventory you know i can do the same thing copy these functions down and because everything is frozen you know it's still referencing the right right header and the right the right field over here so i mean you can do this for any any other items so the idea being that once you've got these dynamic forms in place, you can change them at a later date. So if you've got more data that gets populated here for August or September, you can just change these values or add them onto here and, you know, make it a lot more versatile. And, you know, you have the flexibility if at a later date you decide, you know, you don't want this metric, you change it to another one. You know, you have the flexibility to do so because you've got that formula set up where it's going to look at both both the month that you're in as well as the field that it's pulling from. So that's a quick overview how to generate um, or how to create dynamic formulas. And you can use this for, for other formulas as well, whether you're doing a sum if or, or just an index and match. As long as you're referencing the, the cells and not hard coding them, it gives your formula a whole lot more flexibility.